Okay, in this video we're, we're going to uh, do some fun exploration here with, with what I think is just a fantastically fun tool to use, and that is the, um, the LEGO uh, Enhanced uh, Build with Chrome application. I, I don't know that that's the official name for it, but that's what I'm going to call it here. Um, and so take a break from all of the uh, normal GIS work or data visualization work that you, you've been doing. Uh, completing and, and maybe just carve out a little bit of time on a, on a nice Friday afternoon and, and spend a little time doing something that, that if you're at all like me you probably enjoyed immensely when you were a kid and that's uh, playing with Legos. Um, I don't remember exactly how I heard about the site. I think uh, it was probably in January uh, earlier this year when, when I, I think I saw a link to it and, and I, I, it's just a, a horribly addicting site. Um, so you definitely probably should uh, wait until you're home and uh, not do this at work. Otherwise, you'll you'll suddenly find yourself spending hours and hours playing with Legos, and that's probably not what you uh, want your uh, boss to see if, if they happen to come in the room or appear over your shoulder. But uh, anyway, um, so the site is just uh, www.buildwithchrome.com, and once you're there, uh, you can see I've already logged in here, but uh, it's, it's pretty easy to just log in with a Google account. Of course, if you don't have one, just set one up quickly. And you can start uh, pretty, pretty quickly. What, what basically you're going to do is you're going to pick um, basically a Lego map tile, and then you can start constructing whatever you want. Um, so, you know, if for some reason you need to be reminded how to play with Legos, uh, they do have uh, this thing called the Build Academy where you can go and, uh, you know, it, it gets, it gets fairly, you know, serious. It, it's going to sort of go through all those things that you probably uh, were really good at uh, when you were a kid, you know, figuring out just the right combination of, of all the Legos to, to make sure that you didn't have any of the odd pieces left over. Uh, and it'll walk you through basically how to do this in sort of a virtual environment. But if you're like me, it's, it's almost more fun just to jump right in and, and get started. So when you get to the site and you sign up, uh, let's just go ahead and click on Start Building. Um, what you're going to see is, is um, basically a Lego world uh, pop onto your screen. And from here, um, we can just start constructing our site. Um, to the left here, we have all of our great, wonderful Lego shapes and sizes that you probably remember from when you were a kid. Uh, and you have colors, right? So you have this color palette, so I can pick a color here. And then from there, it's uh, uh, pretty much you're off and running. You do have some instructions right here. This certainly works better uh, if you have access to a mouse uh, versus a, uh, a touch pad like I have for this demonstration. Um, but anyway, you, you don't need to. Uh, watch me do this, you can kind of quickly figure out that it's uh, pretty easy and fun to start building your first building or car or duck or whatever it may be that you want to construct with the Legos. Um, and these uh, little uh, Legos over here sort of signify sort of the, the building height, right? So just see a lot of the map interactions are very similar. Uh, there's a zoom in, zoom out tool here. Uh, you can change the rotation of the uh, grid here and pretty much you're off and running uh, click on extras for a few more things um, you know so we can add a door here right kind of switch it around a little bit maybe get it facing the right direction all right there we go okay so this is all fine and well but what I really want to do now is I want to start constructing something actually in the virtual world itself, right? So I could just create my nice creation here and then publish it out and it's shared with the community. Uh, and if I want to do that, I just click on this publish button. But in this case, what I really want, like is, is the interaction with the map. So let's cancel and let's get to that section. All right, so the next window that's going to open up is is basically the uh, map view of the build world and once it loads um, this is just really cool um, we, you know this is a map search right so we can type in something that we're interested in so I'm going to type let's see Metropolitan Museum of Art and here we are oh some interesting ones here Okay, zoom out a little bit, and now I'm, I've basically got the map view of the 
the uh, Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City. Um, so, uh, you know, we can see here that some other creative minds have already kind of started uh, adding various things, right? And that's kind of what we were looking at before. Um, but let's say that we actually, you know, um, instead of adding our initials or something, what, what if I actually want to start constructing the building itself, right? For, for me, I, I think that's, this is, this is kind of fun, right? So here's the mat. Um, what, what I find helpful in this case is, uh, you know, we, we also have accessible to us uh, Google Street View, right? So you can simply pick a place that you want to try and duplicate, right? So here we're looking at essentially the front of the mat. And I can go back to the map and decide, all right, this looks like the front, so I'm going to kind of come in here a little bit and try and pick the front of the facade. All right. So I'll maybe pick one of these blocks here. Uh, here we go. And then I select the map tile and I click the build here button and the base map essentially now you can see so it's sort of this pixelated version of the actual building outline right so uh, you know you don't certainly have to do this I, I thought you know for this site I, I think and I assume part of the assumption here would be that it would be certainly cool and I haven't looked into it I'm sure others have already done this elsewhere uh, but it would be certainly cool to have some collaborative folks actually construct some of these in Legos right and I know that that Lego uh, has obviously done this um, but uh, if we want to start here, maybe I start by picking a color that kind of matches the map tile. And of course, it's going to be a little tricky, right? Because these are corners. So uh, let's see. So maybe I just start kind of filling in here. Anyway, so you get the idea, right? Um, and you see how this could be addicting and, and uh, could could uh, eat up a good portion of your day. So there you go. So you can start constructing the facade of the Met and or not, and just, I don't know, put a house here or whatever you want. And then when you're done, you publish it out, and then it's added, you know, basically into the um, general public, I guess, uh, Lego repository. Okay, so just skip ahead uh, so you don't have to watch uh, me silently create the front of the Met. Let me uh, just get back to the main map view here and uh, show you some of the other uh, nice creations that others have come up uh, with. You'll see down here on, on the bottom of our map view, we've, we've got some uh, different categories, right? So, uh, you know, the one that I did construct here, uh, this is uh, by no means very good, but uh, I was trying to create the front of our building, or at least a portion of it as best I could, and, and you can see someone else has uh, added a very colorful maybe representation of the University Center. I'm not sure what that is. Um, you, you'll notice that the challenge I think with the way that the maps laid out, laid out is that um, you know in the case of at least Manhattan it's not gonna line up perfectly to the city grid and I would imagine that's the, the, the case elsewhere but you know people have done some pretty pretty nice work here spent some time uh, you know working on on their various map products and uh, it's it's kind of fun to see sort of the variation. Um, so, and, you know, there's, there's many more here, um, but you can use these for inspiration. Uh, back under the main site, there are uh, a few other categories that you can kind of browse as well. So if I go back to this page, uh, enter the world of build again. Uh, let's see what other things they have listed here under popular creations by others. All right, so here we go. Uh, let's check this one out. Okay, so we've got quite a lot of stuff here, and we have uh, apparently a, a, a international representation down here in Lower Manhattan. Uh, 
so uh, and all sorts of other things here. So pretty cool. Uh, so anyway, have fun um, and uh, watch the clock because this this will certainly eat up a lot of time. But uh, it's it's uh, it's well worth it, I'd say. Uh, and enjoy. I hope you find some really uh, compelling ways to introduce uh, GIS by using a tool like this. Uh, certainly for kids and adults alike, it's it's sort of a fantastic way to sort of remind them of their childhood while teaching some of the map principles.